India is spending many billions of dollars installing smart meters across the country and sort of the core motivation for that is that the electricity distribution sector in India is in deep trouble. It's in deep trouble primarily because um, the government is unable to recover the costs of power from the consumers who use it. Smart meters have emerged in that context and, and there's been a lot of excitement around them as a technology solution to this non-payment problem that will allow these utilities to move to uh, a more efficient and, and functioning market in electricity. My colleagues and I have worked for uh, a little over a year with the state of Haryana looking at the effect of uh, rolling out smart meters there and we are currently working with Jammu and Kashmir on the on the same problem. The early evidence we've seen from Haryana suggests that uh, the potential for this uh, for these improvements are certainly there with smart meters, um, but they're not automatically going to be achieved uh, simply because uh, you know billions of dollars are spent on new technology. And the reason is that smart meters provide tools that utilities and politicians and governments can use. I think there's some caution there in the lesson on smart meters. Buying a meter is the easy part, but if the weak link is not technology, but it's sort of either political priorities or institutional constraints or consumer pressure, whatever it may be, uh, but those are all non-technical problems. So if those are the reasons why uh, bills are not being collected on or issued properly or electricity is being stolen, then simply buying new technology will not automatically fix them.